Hey everyone, this is Adam Lee from PEI. I'm the marketing director over here, and with me I have Allison Souza, the director of managed services. She is going to walk us through yet another powerful tool in the Office 365 Admin Center. Ali, why don't you uh, take it away for us? Thanks, Adam. Um, so uh, we're here today uh, to look at the Office 365 usage reports. Uh, so here we see the Office 365. This is the revamped admin center that they published about six months ago. And on the left side, under reports, um, there is usage and then security and compliance, but we'll do that in a different video. Uh, but for today, we're going to go ahead and look at the usage charts and kind of see what does Office 365 provide us. So. When I'm working with our managed services clients uh, and we're doing technical business planning, one of the things that we like to do is look at how people are utilizing the Office 365 tools that we've provided to them uh, in certain organizations. So we want to know, you know, are people actually um, using OneDrive, for instance? Are they are they using SharePoint? Um, and you know, kind of how often are they using a Skype for business? And maybe what is the quality of those experiences? Uh, and Office 365 has baked in reporting tools here in the Admin Center that we can use to answer some of those questions. So in addition to the very high level overview charts that they have here on the home page for the Usage Center, we can go up to select a report and use this drop down to look at reports for Office 365 license uh, information, exchange email activity, OneDrive, SharePoint, and Skype for Business. So let's go ahead and um, we're going to look at OneDrive uh, activity, or let's look at usage actually first. Um, and this is just going to sort of show us are people using their OneDrive um, and uh, kind of how active are they being. So this is our 30 day overview. And then we can go ahead and look at 180 days and see, you know, it appears that for our organization people are using it fairly consistently. Um, so that's always great to see. And then if we compare that, for instance, with our SharePoint usage, um, we can see that it is also receiving fairly consistent um, usage and our, our set activity um, you know, remains pretty steady. Uh, but this does help confirm that yes, people are actively using it, they've been using it for quite a long time, um, and so if we wanted to do a targeted survey uh, with our users to ask them how that experience has been, I'm confident that we would get high quality feedback because I know that people are actually using the products. Uh, we can also go into uh, mailbox usage uh, and see some more data about, you know, are people um, uh, sort of hoarding email, are they not hoarding email, that sort of thing. So this provides a lot of insight into what's going on in your organization and how are people using Office 365. Um, one of the uh, great things about Office 365 is that for every license that you provide for your users in your workplace, they're allowed to have a total of five downloads. So they can actually download that copy of Office to their PC at home. So they can do some work at home, they can put it on a tablet, they can put it on a device. And so one of the things that Office 365 provides us is some insight into who is activating Office, what kind of device are they activating it on, uh, and then you know, we can find out whether that's benefiting the workforce, for instance. Uh, we have a number of clients that it is an added employee benefit that they get these extra copies of Office and they see it that way as opposed to, um, you know, restricting that for their employees and, uh, and not giving that additional benefit for them. Um, so that's just kind of a quick high-level overview. Uh, the other great thing about this information is that you can always export all of this data to CSV formats so that you can actually add this to Power BI, add this to your dashboards. Um, you can include this in Excel to create internal reporting that is rich and full of information about how Office 365 is functioning for you. Um, so if you have any questions or anything else, just feel free to reach out to PEI and we can help you evaluate this for your organization and help you see the benefits of Office 365. Awesome. Thank you, Allie. And again, this is PEI with another video on Office 365. Uh, this is brought to you on Skype for Business as well, a powerful tool that uh, PEI is a launch partner for. So feel free to reach out to us. You can reach us at 303-974-6881. Thanks and have a great day.